away from that, hundreds of protesters have taken to the streets to create uh, climate change action awareness as United Nations struggle to build up a draft legal framework under the Paris Accord of 2015. A tall ship carrying climate change banners sailed into Australia's Sydney Harbour earlier today and launched the new wave of protests organized by New York-based group 350ORG. But this is also why we must keep coal out of politics. Ireland in 1770. Protesters in Sydney accused the Australian government for making hollow commitments and working for the big polluters. These protesters want the government to end their reliance on fossil fuels and transition fully into renewable energy. Power prices are set to halve over the next four years. And he is a local young person from... For too long has this government put the big polluters before people. For too long has Australia made hollow commitments to global climate agreements. For too long has Australia entered regional talks like the Pacific Island Forum this week, watering down the outcomes and intent on pushing a fossil fuel agenda. I rise today because I have no faith in this leadership. Change is here and now, not 20 years from now, not 50 years from now. It's affecting us today. Australia is having bushfires in winter. New South Wales has been in a 100% state of drought and coastal cities just like the one today are going to be affected by sea level rise. Thousands also gathered under the banner Rise for Climate in Paris, urging the world leaders to take action against the global threat. These protests were organized to create pressure and awareness ahead of the Global Climate Action Summit, where leaders, activists and environmentalists will gather to discuss climate change. We want to put coastal erosion into the national disaster plan because right now in Thailand we have like many national disasters like for example the flood or landslides but we don't have coastal erosion in the plan.